Hi, this is a quick demo of the new support from JSONAR for MongoDB Atlas. And this is for our product called Database Security 2.0, which is um, a database security product uh, covering uh, all databases on-prem as well as in the cloud and uh, covering both our existing implementations of IBM Guardian and of Imperva, uh, plus again all the databases of service and specifically in this demo I'll kind of show you what it looks like um, for MongoDB Atlas. Uh, one of the uh, issues that enterprises sometimes have when they migrate or they want to migrate to MongoDB Atlas is that when they have uh, workloads running on-prem uh, whether it's uh, relational or MongoDB on-prem then because they're running it on their own servers they can install an agent such as a Guardian agent or an Imperva agent and their entire security policy and compliance uh, policy is, is all based on those monitoring systems but when they move things to uh, MongoDB Atlas then they cannot put an agent there and everything breaks down and it's a blocker to move things to MongoDB Atlas and this is why we built this uh, solution that uh, interfaces with the APIs available within MongoDB Atlas um, and provide the same level of functionality that enterprises already have on-prem and so I'll, I'll I'll show you how how I do this uh, kind of from start to finish so the first thing that I do um, and this is something that I need to make sure that on my uh, MongoDB cluster in security and in enterprise security I have database auditing turned on and once that is there I can go and create an API key so I'll create uh, a new API key um, I'll just call this uh, um, JSONAR Atlas demo and specifically I'll give it uh, uh, these uh, read-only accesses um, I'll, I'll say next I'll copy this just because I have to paste this into uh, the JSONAR um, uh, system and then what now what I'll do is I'll go um, and uh, so 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 this new key is over here, right? Um, I'll go into my um, my cloud sources screen, and I'll create a new cloud source. Then and, and there's all kinds of databases of service that is that are supported, but in this case it'll be my MongoDB Atlas. So my API key is the thing that I pasted. The uh, this is my oops this is my uh, the other part the um, the public key name and I'll add this and at this point this is going to connect to Atlas and start uh, pulling the logs both the both the uh, database logs as well as the uh, Atlas API logs and the nice thing is because because Atlas is um, very conveniently managed using these API keys the minute that I add this key uh, to the instances or the databases that I want to uh, monitor then automatically everything will start flowing and, and therefore it's very very simple to administer um, so once I've set this up uh, what will happen is the data will start flowing so what I have here is um, I, I, I have all of my all of the records uh, that are coming in from the various log files that are being accumulated by Atlas they get pulled over they get scraped um, they get parsed and they get inserted into the JSON our system um, and and it, and at this point I can uh, kind of search on it or do any uh, dashboarding on it etc so for example um, if I connect let me connect to um, to the database okay so for example I'll connect to my uh, Atlas database and I'll go um, 
I'll go to the video database and I'll uh, I'll do a find on the reviews and maybe what I'll do is also a query uh, where rating is less than five All right so at this point if I run the query it should have fewer fields All right so I'm, I'm just doing all kinds of things um, this activity gets uh, processed by app by Mongo uh, and then it gets logged into uh, the log files on Atlas then they get pulled into the log files and parsed into here so for example if I look at um, you know I can I can look for example at all of the users I'm getting information from so I, I have uh, MMS monitoring agent MMS backup agent and I can like drill down and filter and only see things being done by Ron and then I can look at uh, the original SQL it's not really SQL in this case right I mean this is this is things like uh, Mongo queries right so this is a find on reviews with a query of rating less than five um, so everything gets logged the nice thing is um, that you know first, first of all the nice thing is it's very fast uh, you can search on pretty much anything uh, you can look at all kinds of fields so each one of these records for example has um, you know where it's coming from where it's going to what the user is what role is being used all the information is here plus this is true for um, both the the MongoDB uh, events as well as the Atlas events so for example uh, if I do a search on um, let me think like say that I do a search on Ron and at this point there are 19 hits but some of them are uh, have an event type so for example some of them have no event type because they're they're actually um, queries you can see them here but then on the other side I have events such as um, invited to groups. So in this case, Yael, who is the administrator of this cluster, invited me into the group uh, to allow me to start using uh, Atlas. So that's that's that comes up, and the reason it came up in in the search is just because I put in Ron, and this was the username that she invited. Um, so everything gets logged, both the Atlas and MongoDB APIs. Um, the other nice thing is that, and this is, you know, you can ask why does this say original SQL when it's really just a MongoDB query? Um, it's because, and this is this is why this is so important for enterprises, is that the data from Atlas is blended with everything they use on-prem or not. So for them moving, for, for an enterprise to move workloads into Atlas becomes trivial because the entire system uh, that is being used for uh, their on-prem monitoring it's the same system that they use for Mongo Atlas monitoring and, and, and security so here for example I have a, a system which which is also uh, getting the feeds from MongoDB Atlas but you can see if I do if I search on all the server types that exist inside um, the system you can see it's got Oracle which is in this case it's an on-prem Oracle a DB2 which is on-prem and the Mongo is the one that's on Atlas and and but but it's all in the same place it's all blended together uh, and therefore migration to Atlas becomes trivial no no blocker from security um, there are advanced features for example uh, the system is not just a monitoring system it also has it also does uh, user behavioral analysis for uh, access to databases right so it looks at excessive connections excessive modifications non-standard login times uh, brute force attacks all of these things uh, you get automatically for the for the atlas and you view everything in one place on the threat dashboard and you can see an attack as it's evolving you can you can drill down into a specific uh, time frame of an attack um, and see uh, what else is happening there and on which databases, etc. So 
you know the whole the whole idea is to get a single point uh, including that supporting MongoDB Atlas so that the migration uh, to Atlas becomes trivial for the enterprise. Uh, that's it for now. If you want more information, please visit uh, jsonar.com. And thank you.